One of the cool things about what we do is we actually get to speak to all of you. And that means a worldwide audience of CNC machinists, literally some of the most anal people in the world. <laughs> but it's true, it's true, because to be a machinist, you have to care so deeply about what you're doing. You have to care about the details. You have to care about every facet of everything that you do. When it comes to taking a raw piece of material, putting it into a $100,000, a million dollar machine and driving tools through that metal, knowing that speed is everything, efficiency is everything, and if you screw up, you crash the machine and basically you're gonna lose a ton of money. But if you actually thrive in that cut, if you actually go better and faster than anybody else, then you can actually win those bids, you can make money, you can secure a crazy life for yourself being in industry, and that is absolutely what it's about. Now, we talk to people in the comments of all these videos, and we got like 2,200 videos on YouTube alone, and, and people are always saying, you can't do that, you can't do this, that's not how we do it, and I always come back and say basically the same thing. Look, it is mindset. You gotta change the way that you're thinking. You gotta look at it from a different perspective. And of course, they're telling me that I'm like ruining the machine, that I'm murdering the machine. I'm like, no, I'm murdering material. I'm making money. The customers aren't complaining and we need to change your mindset so you understand how to be efficient, how to make money and how to rise in this trade. Now, you guys have done it huge at some big companies, like $50 million parts, yep. $100 million parts. Yep. Crazy million. stuff, right? Yep. What kind of mindset do you have to have to go into those types of jobs? First, you have to be confident in what you're doing. You have to be sure that you know what the way you're approaching a part is the way it needs to be approached. And confidence comes from knowledge yep. and putting the work in. Yep. Not just not, not, people say like, well, you got to have, you know what, right? But you need to have confidence based on knowledge, based on skill, based on repetition and based all on experience. of it, based on experience, and then have a mental attitude, a mindset to always push the limits, to always think that there's a better way and never settle. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things I never could stand is when like, especially when it's a young machinist, it's kind of yeah. understandable the older you get and the older the machinists are out there, the more they set in their ways and they don't want to change, don't want to learn. And that's just human nature, I think. But it's really aggravating when I see it in young people that come in that has three, four years experience, but they already know it all. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's exactly. like, if you if you shut your mouth and, and stop trying to know it all, and like, even if you don't think it's gonna work, if you look at it from the approach, well, let's just try it and see, or let, let me shut my mouth and actually see, because I might learn something. Yeah. You know, and that's, yeah. that's, what I always say is, is when you start dying in this trade yeah. is when you say, I know it all. Exactly. And it's, it's like in life, right? When, when you think that you've already, you know, everything, that's when you cease to like live. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So we always got to be pushing that level. Life is levels. The trade is levels. Your marriage, like everything is all about rising through the levels and stuff. You know, a lot of people, they'll criticize and we'll go like 2,500 inches a minute in steel and they're like, you're breaking the machine. And it's like, I always look at it and I, I just love when they say that because I'm like, look, it's like Morpheus. I'm just trying to like open your guys' mind. We're going 2,500 inches a minute. You're going 100 inches per minute. So I'm not saying do this, but what if you went 400 inches a minute? The tool didn't break at 25. So now you know there's levels to the game. There's different types of spindles, different types of horsepower and torque and tool holders, rigidity, all the different variables in machining. So if you take everything to a high level, maybe you can actually make some incredible money. So let's not look at what we can do, but let's look at what we can do. Yeah, what we and could do. What we could just do, be right? be open-minded, that's what it's all about. Exactly. I've exactly. had people that who were like fresh out of high school that had only worked at like Burger King, and they came in and I was setting up a job and they were like, you know, why are you doing it like this? Couldn't you just do this? And it's like, blew my mind. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, I actually could do it like that exactly. and that would be easier. So, yeah. yeah. Doesn't matter how much experience you have. If you're open-minded, you, you'll you yeah. learn things. If yeah. Even if you've been in this for 30 years, you've got to be a student of the game. Yeah. Yeah. Things are changing in this industry so much every day. Every day. Yeah. Technology is getting better. 
tools are getting better, coatings are getting better, which makes the machine get have to get better. Yeah. You know, and different technologies are coming out with five axis stuff. You know, programming a five axis today isn't like it was programming a five axis 30 years ago, yeah. you know, and it's like, you got to stay up to that and stay a student to the game. I think common sense has a lot to do with it too. Absolutely. And believe, believing in yourself, because there, there's times where I look at fixed terrain, like we, we, we can look at the lion. And the lion, I always tell people, I was just thinking about how do I hold this thing on this table? I can't use the vise. And I just think to myself, you know what? I'm actually just going to create a pocket. I'm going to slide it in there. And then thinking about a Christmas tree, you're not going to hold a Christmas tree tree in just one spot you got to have it in dual spots or hit it from the bottom and the top so it doesn't topple right so the same thing with the mighty bites like let's stagger them and i was just bringing common sense from the story of the christmas tree i just think that you need you need to look at life you look at all these different problems that you solve and just see how things relate and if you believe something there might be a chance to actually bring that into this trade and use that exact technology or problem solving skills or oh whatever, absolutely right yeah it's like you said it all, it's all common sense and 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 keeping it simple is the best always because that's, that's actually something that I struggle with most of the time is I overcomplicate things super fast and I'm thinking of it as this incredibly comp complex problem when really it all boils down to common sense and just keep it simple. And yeah. I got so many stories about stuff like that that where I completely overcomplicated the process. I think Barry is working on like a big job right now where he had this entire master <laughs> plan and he was going to do this whole thing and I was, I kind of walked over and I was like, you could just lay it on the table and hit it from the side, right? And he's like, ooh, you just saved me like 30 hours. <laughs> this is a fact, yes. And that's why repetition is so important that we actually machine, 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 set up, set up, set up, program, 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 and just do it day in and day out, month in and month out, year in and year out. And through the process, you just keep raising levels and, and just keep trying new things. Keep watching yeah. videos, keep looking at different machinists, keep looking at you know different things. We know each other and you said, because you used to scour the internet, like looking at just how different machinists do it and yeah. started watching our videos. And you were a great machinist, so that's awesome that you're already a great machinist, but you're just looking at how other people do it. What techniques are they using? What speeds and feeds, surface foot, chip load, tools, whatever. Yeah, that's, There's always new things coming out. That's always been my mentality is I want to see inside of somebody else's brain. You yeah. know, all of our brains works how they work. And you know, and you're going to think of something the way you think of it, just like I'm going to think of it the way I think of it. But what I always love to do is I go to every company I've ever worked at. I go to all the programmers. It's like, hey, if you see me say, why are you doing it that way? Yeah. It's not like, why are you doing it that way? Yeah. It's like, I want to learn because like I look at how you're doing it and think about how I would do it. And if it's different, I want to know. I'm like, hey, yeah. why are you doing it? What are you seeing that I'm not seeing? And and I feel like that's really helped me through the years to yeah. mold, you know, multiple minds into my own. And, yeah. and the know. thing that helped me a lot too is like looking at other people's master cam files yeah. and just seeing how they did a completely different yeah, part. And you learn how new tool paths that you don't use often work and things like that. And two, looking at different industries, not just machining. Like I've learned things from carpentry videos and welding videos, you know. Absolutely. So there's so much to learn from so many different places. Yeah. And, and when people look at our YouTube videos and uh, they say like, hey, I know YouTube is like exciting and, and all that, but you guys do all your education on the regular academy. So we got different academies, our regular CNC machining academy, we got our aerospace academy, our grinding academy, and then we got our Swiss machining academy. That's where you can actually go start to finish and just learn the entire process we slow everything down we got all the documentation and everything but what is cool is youtube is education every time i go to these big companies i'll go to blue origin and all the machinists line up and they're like we we've learned so much from your youtube videos and different things and it's like oh that's awesome you know it might just be a fixturing video where we're holding a part a certain way they've just never seen like the barrel s system you know, or they've never seen Mighty Bites or machinable Mighty Bites. They didn't even know that it existed, but then they see the video and they're like, hey, you know what? I actually have a similar part. I'm gonna go get these clamps. I'm gonna use those clamps to do this. Video after video after video, there's just a wealth of knowledge. I mean, awesome. even if you're running parts, there's something to be learned. You know, you may not be the one programming it or whatever, but there is things to be learned. You know, yeah. if you, especially if you're running parts, you're running production there's going to be pitfalls. There's going to be 
problems come up, whether that's in process probing or tool life, you know, whatever it is, it's, there's going to be an issue there that you can learn from. Yeah, and these, these young guys out there, when you go and you watch the videos and you go to the older machinists and the machinists are like, you can't do that. Don't, don't let your heart be discouraged. Be great. Fight and like work hard and, and, and work on the fixture and do the program and do everything. But if you believe in something and you know that it's real, even though somebody tries to discourage you, just stand on your own feet. Even if they don't allow you to do it then, do it, do it outside of work. Create things outside of work and then bring it to your boss and say, hey, this is what I created and stuff. Here's a video showing it and I truly believe it's gonna work and they might just give you an opportunity and then the boss is gonna look at you and be like, I love that they did this outside of work and that's the type of mentality that I want. That's the mindset that I want. Let's actually keep having that person rise in the company and uh, maybe get a crazy opportunity and stuff. So learn from the videos, like dissect the videos, take it, use those tools in your own toolbox and allow that to help you become great. And that's the people who are truly great is the ones that succeed in spite of the opposition. Yeah, exactly. The exactly. world is never going to have a deficiency in people telling you that you can't do something or you're not good enough. Yeah. It's just how the world's gonna be and it's up to you to make a stand and do it on your own. Yeah, yeah. don't let anybody make you less than you were created to be. You have specific gifts, you have specific talents, and, and there are seasons in life. And just because you hit a dark season or you hit into a place where you have maybe people in that darkness speaking into you, understand where you're at, understand who you are, rise to your full potential, get up on another level, don't let it discourage you. Like read, watch videos, try different things and just keep rising up. Because those that figure out how to rise on that path through those levels, you're gonna do good in the machine shop, you're gonna do good in life, you're gonna do good with your children, you're gonna do good throughout all of it. And you're gonna to rise to absolute greatness and that's what it's about, man. So mindset, take your mindset to the highest level. Boom, we love you guys, we're out, boom.